this is Hanko here with today's Learning at Lunch, all about music. Did you know that you can tell a story through music? Think about these songs that I'm going to tell you or name right now. Take Me Out to the Ball Game, Miss Mary Mack. Both of these are songs, yet they both tell stories. Let's start with a story today called The Cat Came Back. I'd like you to help me tell this story with music, so I need to teach you the beginning part, and that is the refrain. It goes like this. The cat came back the very next day. Would you try that, please? The next part goes like this. The cat came back. We thought he was a goner. And then the last part goes, the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away. Let's put it all together. And it goes like this. Sing with me this time. The cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. We thought he was a goner. The cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. Okay, now that you know that part, I'm going to pull out the book and I'd like you to help me tell this story through song. The Cat Came Back, a traditional song illustrated by Bill Slavin. Old Mr. Johnson had troubles of his own. He had a yellow cat that would not leave his home. He tried and he tried to give that cat away. He found an ocean liner going far, far away. Now this is the part you have to help me with. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. We thought he was a goner. The cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. I think he went on vacation. Mr. Johnson gave the cat to a man in a balloon. He said, please take this cat and leave him on the moon. The balloon came down about 90 miles away where the man is now. No one wants to say. There he is up in a tree. But the cat came back the very next day, the cat came back. They thought he was a goner. The cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. Look at that. He came back by spaceship. Mr. Johnson gave the cat to a fellow heading west. He said, this cat's a present for the one that you love best. First the train hit the track, and then it jumped a rail. No one stayed around to tell the terrible tale. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. He thought he was a goner. The cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. Look at that, Mr. Johnson was trying to sell the cat's bed and food. Now the cat was a father of a family of his own. They lived with Mr. Johnson until there came a cyclone. A cyclone is kind of like a tornado, boys and girls. It tore the house apart and tossed the cats around. The air was filled with kittens, but the cat could not be found. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. They thought he was a goner. The cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. 
that, he came back by taxi cab. And Mr. Johnson and the cat and his family learned to live together. The end. Of course, there are other ways to tell stories through music. An easy way to come to mind is the musical. Can you think of any musicals? If you mention things such as Frozen or Trolls, High School Musical, The Greatest Showman, some of these musicals featured live people and others were animated, but they were still stories told with music. Now, there's yet another way to tell a story through music. This one, though, is a little bit harder because there are no words involved. The music instead suggests the story. There was a composer in France whose name was Camille Sasson, and he wrote a musical suite called Carnival of the Animals, and he tried to describe animals by using musical sounds. I'm going to tell you a couple different animals, and let's see if we can answer some questions about them. If I were to say to you, a kangaroo. What would you think about? The fact that he hops, high, fast. So do you think the music could be high and maybe a little fast too? Well, I'm going to play for you from the Carnival of the Animals, the kangaroo. And let's see if we were kind of right. Here we are with Kangaroos from Carnival of the Animals. Sasson also described a donkey in his Carnival of the Animals. Here's the music for the donkey. Listen to how he makes the instruments sound like they're doing the hee-haw that a donkey does. The last animal I'm going to share with you from Carnival of the Animals is hens and roosters. Listen to how Camille Sasson made the instruments again sound like a chicken or a rooster.
Some of the other animals featured in Carnival of the Animals include the tortoise, the lion, elephants, the aviary, aquarium, and my favorite, fossils. Now, you might think that's kind of a strange animal because it's bones, but Camille Sanson thought that pianists, people who play the piano, were fossils because they were stuck in the past. I hope that you enjoyed our little lesson today on music during our learning at lunch and how music can tell a story. Why don't you, the next time you want to hear a story, why don't you ask for a song or watch a musical? Because remember, music tells stories too.